All right, hello guys. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Invest 94E, and this is gonna be in the Pacific, and it's possibly gonna to head towards Hawaii, so stay tuned for that. I have two things I wanna mention before I get started with this video. First off, we have a new Discord server. We only have about 20 members so far. I'm gonna leave a comment, and it's gonna be pinned down there in the comments, and I highly would appreciate it if you would join that server. There's gonna be lots of weather discussion going on, and even if you aren't that interested in weather, it could be worth joining. So if you just click the link, it'll take you to the Discord server, and that's basically an invite, and you can go ahead and join. Also, if this is your first video that you're watching for me, I'd highly recommend you subscribe. I do lots of tropical updates like this, monthly forecasts, seasonal forecasts, and also forecasts for severe thunderstorms and winter storms once we get to that time of year. Now, first off, we're going to be looking at uh, our satellite imagery, our high resolution satellite imagery here. And you can see we're not too organized. We do have a lot of thunderstorms going on in here. Those well-defined clouds that you can see, those are very tall clouds. So, and there is a little bit of rotation you can kind of see in there. So that's a pretty good sign for development here. Uh, but really we just have some thunderstorms and this is going to have to get its act together pretty soon. And it looks like that's a pretty good possibility. Now here's your track according to the spaghetti models. And you can see they have it heading basically hardly north, but basically northwest. Uh, and it's going to be heading in the general direction of Hawaii, unless that T-A-B-D one is correct, the one that takes it well further north than the rest of the models. But besides that, all of them have it heading in the general direction of Hawaii, which is not very good news at all. Now we're going to look at our intensity guidance. And first off, we're going to look at the 6Z, which was this morning. And then we're going to look at the 12Z and discuss the differences here. You can see we're only at about 20 mile per hour winds right now. Uh, that looks to intensify into at least tropical storm status in the next 48 hours. And then possibly, according to the 6Z models, even get to category 1 or category 2 strength of hurricanes. So that would be very intense and that would be lining up right around with the time that it is heading towards the Hawaii Islands, which would be really interesting to see play out. Uh, and, and that's pretty bad news. Now, I am going to move on to the 12Z, and you can see it's not quite as intense. A lot of the models haven't updated yet, so we're only seeing a few of these, but only about half of them have it getting to tropical storm status, and only one of them has it getting to category one status. So we'll have to see how this plays out, and I'll keep you guys up to date with the intensity guidance models and what they're continuing to say about this invest. But really, we see the possibility from anywhere from just below tropical storm status to the possibility of even category two status or above, according to the models over the last six hours. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tropical update. Let me know if you want more videos like this. I'd be highly uh, likely to do that for you guys again. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day. Stay safe.